Well, some First Coast animal rights groups are pushing back on a decision to eliminate volunteers at one of the beaches. And they are there to protect sea turtles during nesting and hatching seasons. But uh, the Florida Wildlife Commission wants to get rid of some of the permits now. On your side, Robert Bradfield is joining us live tonight at the beach uh, with reaction from a local organization. Robert. Yeah, that's right. The founder of that group says he was in fact denied a permit. However, he does have a team of about 10 to 15 people who continuously monitor nests like this. And he says they are not out here around the clock, but he believes there does need to be some self policing regardless of how the state views groups like his. An environmental crisis is happening on our beaches, according to Casey Jones. We still got a long way. Uh, to go. He's the founder of the group Sea Turtle Watch and is taking issue with the Florida Wildlife Commission's announcement to phase out permits for groups that keep watch over hatchlings. I'm all for people out there saving if you if you can do it responsibly. FWC says the presence of volunteers may deter females from emerging from the ocean onto the beach to nest or cause them to abandon nesting attempts. The decision for now will restrict nest sitting for groups only in South Florida, but Jones says it could have a future impact on the first coast. It's definitely going to be uh, heartbreaking to lose hatchlings because of the volunteers not being able to be out there on the beach. Jones says the focus needs to be on the bright lights that attract turtles to land, which he says ends with almost certain death. He shared these photos of turtles ending up in the swimming pools of beachside condos. Federal law prohibits anyone from moving them. If you fix the light pollution problem, then hopefully you won't need the volunteers. We do know one animal group, at least in South Florida, plans a legal fight. Joan says he and his organization have not been contacted by the state. We're live at the beaches tonight. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.